Newer varieties of plants are created through breeding closely related species. They are known as hybrids because they combine the best features of the parents. One example is the tangelo, a hybrid of a tangerine and a grapefruit. Scientists are working on better plant varieties that have a higher nutritional value, are more resistant to drought, insects and disease, and even some with higher photosynthetic efficiency. Genetic engineering is a complex process that transfers desirable genes into the genetic material of another organism. Genetic makeup can be altered through a process called recombinant DNA, or gene splicing. Genetically altered foods are commonly referred to as biotech or bioengineered. A tomato was the first genetically modified whole product in 1994. The new tomato could be shipped vine ripened and would rot at a slower pace than non-genetically altered counterparts. Since the first genetically engineered tomato, over 50 other genetically engineered foods have passed all safety requirements of the United States Food and Drug Administration or FDA. Scientists working in genetic engineering have created strains of bacteria that inhibit the formation of frost on some plants, reducing crop damage. Crops will be able to endure stress from harsh environments such as arid lands, cold temperatures, and low nutrient levels. Other genetically altered plants are resistant to herbicides that are able to repel insects with certain types of bacteria. Research is ongoing into rice enriched with beta-carotene, which stimulates production of vitamin A. Insufficient amounts of vitamin A causes blindness in over half a million children annually. Through ongoing research and experimentation, scientists are improving livestock by combining genes from different species to improve digestion, weight gain, and disease resistance. In 2008, the United States led the world in genetically modified crops with 62.5 million hectares. That's over 150 million football fields. The U.S. Department of Agriculture reports that 86% of the land used for cotton growing was planted with genetically modified varieties, along with 80% of corn and 92% of soybeans. Worldwide, over 2 billion acres are dedicated to biotech crops, a direct result of the impact science has had on agriculture. There are over 13 million farmers in over 25 countries planting biotech crops.